Right. So last video. We got in the bloopers. Last video, you guys watched us go pick up a 280Z that you may have noticed had a big hole in the floor. In this video, we're going to go kind of clean up that Z and assess the overall damage and start curating the long, long list of everything that we have to do to get that car running, driving, everything. Yeah. So and the rest of mob. So let's, let's go. Uh, let's Come go on. do that. Just, just, just turn the key. You get the key turn? Yeah. Do you got license there? Yeah. Okay, well, the fuel, fuel filter is still. Fuel, fuel filter is not leaking, so. Thank you. So the Z doesn't want to start, what we're going to do is we're going to get a new fuel filter to replace that leaky filter, charge up that battery, uh, to chest for spark and some other things. We'll try again in a future video. As you can see, the lights appear to be working and there's minimal rust on the hood, but the lower front bumper appears to be missing. I'll put an image on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Obviously we have a lot of rust repair to do with that fender, probably replace it. And then we have a little bit of uh, rust on the door, which we may end up replacing as well since the glass is broken. As you can see, the entire interior has been stripped and will need redone. There is little bits of rust here and there that I'll point out. Um, the floors, there's holes all the way through. We'll have to actually put in new floors. As you can see, this rear portion of the body is actually not that bad, and the previous owner has done some rust repair. Here you get a better view of the inside. You can see the dash is cracked, the windshield's got a little bit of tape on it, some stuff is missing down by the floor, but it's stuff we'll be able to fix in the future whenever we go to restoring this inside. You can see we have a busted taillight, some more rust repair from the previous owner, some rust behind that bumper, and the front fender will also need replaced on this side. Thanks for watching the video guys. In order to feel comfortable driving this vehicle, we need to get the engine running, replace the rusty floors, fix the brakes, replace the driver's window, replace the front fenders, repair some of that body rust, and then we'll be able to take it for our first test drive.